Hi there, my name is Richard Faria and I'm going to show you how to use Stream My Game, the new uh, game streaming website which allows you to record, broadcast and stream your games. Um, so uh, we're going to go have a look at the website and the first thing that you can want to do is to register and registration is free. You click on the registration button and you enter in your username, your email, you create your own password, type in the security code and then we email you confirmation of your new username and password. Uh, I'm already registered so I'm going to log in here with my username and password. And you're taken first of all to your home page and from this section of the website you can download the latest software for streamer um, and add games. Um, okay, so the first thing you want to do um, when you've registered into the site is to install streamer and the latest version is always on the home page and this is the Windows server and the Windows player all contained in the latest install package and we'll go through later on how to um, install the PlayStation 3 player. So you click on this player and it's going to pop up with this message, I'm going to push run. It's going to download it from our website. It's 2.78 meg, so it's a reasonable size to download. And then we're just going to follow the, the instructions. If you already have a version of the software installed, it will automatically uninstall your old version and install the new version. So I'm going to run it. Here it's popped up. This is uh, the latest version, uh, 1.0.186. Next, I'm going to agree to the license. Next, install. To install this package, you will first need to uninstall the previous version. So we go yes and this is going to automatically uninstall my previous version it's finished and now the uninstall is successful I push OK it now installs the new version and it's finished so now I've, I've installed the server um, the next thing I want to do is make sure that it runs so I'm going to click on here I'm going to go to all programs and I'm going to go to uh, stream my game and the server and I'm going to open it up and the first thing you can see is that you log in with your username and your password. So I'm going to type in my username. And my password. And this computer is called Intel Dual and that's the default name that Windows has given to it. And I'm going to add my own server password to it. And then I'm going to log in. Uh, um, streamer asked me, do we, does, it, do you, does it want to save my website login username and password? And I'm going to push yes because that saves me having to enter it in each time I use um, Streamer server. And now you can see it's displaying connected, ready to launch games. And if you look down here, um, you can see Streamer server sitting over here. So I can close that and if I want to see it again, I can double click it over here and launch it. And that remains permanently running. Okay, now I'm going to go and add a game. And I click Add Game. And I scroll down to this part of the page. And the first thing you need to do is to find the exit of the game. So you hit the Browse button. And the game that we're going to add is uh, Crisis. So I'm going to go up to Program Files. And inside my Electronic Arts directory, I've got a directory called Crytek. And inside there is the Crytek single player demo. And inside there is a number of different directories. And because I've added this before, I know that in bin 32 is the executable called crisis.exe. And that's the exe for the game. So I'm going to open that. And you can see it appears in here. E, Program Files, Electronic Arts, Crytek, Service Pack 2 demo, bin 32, crisis.exe. The server, I now have to select the server that I'm running uh, this game on, uh, which is this computer over here, and that's called Intel Dual. And the name of the game is 
crisis demo. And I'm going to put a bit of information about it over here. Um, crisis demo um, test. And it adds the game to streamer. And that basically adds the position of your game on your PC onto our server so that when you want to run the game our server knows where your game is to start it. So if I go to the Your Games button and push this Your Games button and scroll down here, here are all of my games that I've got on Streamer and somewhere in this list we should hopefully find Crisis Demo and there's Crisis Test. Now you notice that I've added this game but this button here is grayed and that's the Authorize button. So before I can actually use the game, I have to authorise it. So I'm going to click on the Authorise button, and that's going to take me to this authorization page. And it shows me what to expect when I authorise the game. So I've done this before, so I'm going to click on this button over here, which is going to start the authorization process. And what that's going to do is it's going to pop up the Stream My Game player, and I don't have to enter in my website login username and password because I saved it previously. So I'm just going to push OK, and that's going to start to launch cri uh, Crisis. Before it does, it's going to say, do you want to authorise this game? And I'm going to push Yes, authorise it. And now Crisis is being started up. This computer is now running the game, and as the game starts, you'll notice it's now got our streamer logo up here. It's got the frames per second that the game's playing at, and it's got the DirectX 9 version of the graphics card that I'm using. And we're now starting off the, uh, um, the crisis demo. So now that the game has been added into our website and it's authorised, I can start using various different services with it.